go. Let's do it. What's happening? What's happening? We trapping. We trapping. Shout out to everybody rocking, man. Except Eastside, the Lee Side Harold. Shout out to everybody except for that dude right there. Except for you. Good grief. Shout out to everybody except for Mr. Lee Side. You understand? That's what we gonna say today. Indeed, the hate is real. You understand? We cut nothing about you guys over there. You will never have Texas. You understand? We still the big dog in the yard. You understand? So don't make no mistake about that, little dude. You understand me? Put some respect on our cowboys, man. We are America's team. The most watched. The most hated. Y'all don't like us, but y'all tune in every Sunday. You already know that. You tuning in right now, and it ain't even Sunday, sir. Get your mind right. Get your mind right, man. What's wrong with them, man? What's wrong with them? <laughs> hey, all we can do is talk trash today. You understand? But shout out to all my folks rocking with me, man. Shout out to Joe Tranchina, Jamison Taylor, Desmond Iron Man, the member sliding in for the win. JB B Boy in the building, man. Mr. L Professor sliding in for the win, man. I ain't seen you in a minute. What's happening? We in the building. Shout out to Lawrence King, Sin City Cowboy, Oscar Westbrook, Bruce got the toxic juice. Kelvin Hicks, we in the building, man. Ariana Stewart, you understand? Shout out to everybody rocking with your boy. Black old black, I ain't forget about you, man. I appreciate all the people that's rocking with your boy, man. And you already know the algorithm trying to knock me out for my rhythm, right? So I need y'all help, man. I need y'all help to help me get this out to the masses, man. Your boy trying to grow. I need my numbers to go up, I need my views to go up, I need everything to go up, man. We trying to do some great things over here at Landlord Sports, you understand? Shout out to y'all, you know, let's do it. But, first and foremost, we got to make sure these haters doing the most. When they was put on God's green earth to do, you already knew that's hate, man. Shout out to my people rocking. Hit that like and shelf for the squad that will not charge a card. Let's go. Yeah. We in the building with it, man. Let's get it. Ever, ever. All this money in my face. No, I just blew a bag, ran it back the same just day. On hey, ain't no looking back. Yeah, came a long way. Hey, hey I know that they mad, but f just let them hate. Hey, that would make them hate. That would make them hate. Hey, and hey. we just get AK and they, they just, just in, in the way. way. Hey, that would make them hate. That would make them hate. Showing how to ball, boy. Let's get it. You ain't even on the team, you just a ball, boy. Yeah. Real high, used to rock knockouts, but it's real now. Yeah. Real fly, bitch, I probably ever yeah. joke a real okay. high. Okay. No one they hating on, they probably wanna kill. Yeah. When they got our own band, we hollering, yeah. fuck a deal. Yeah. 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 Long little CEO, CIP the dollar. Let's get Good it. Took my brother, that that made me go harder. That, that shit turned me to a monster. Uh. Focus on the comma. Yeah, I'ma run up like comma. Let's get the summer. Run up them numbers. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah, I know that they hate the way I go by my name. Rocking all this by my name. Street made on the chain. I can't yeah. see a thing. All this money in my face. Hey. Hey. I just blew a bag, ran it back the same just day. Hey. No, no, Ain't no, no looking day. back. We came a long way. Hey. 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 I know that they mad, but it just That's let them hate. Now you might think you at school or maybe even at home or watching me through your phone, but I promise you, you in the trap, sir. Trap, 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 I promise. trap, trap, trap. Make no mistake trap. about it, man. Hey, public service announcement to Mr. Lee Side Harold. Trap, 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 trap. We trap. want all the smoke today, man. Hey, we a little jealous over here. I have to admit, I will tell the truth about that. I'm not ashamed of that. You understand? I'm not ashamed. Y'all boys over there doing y'all thing, and we over here just playing around. But listen here. 
The people who wasn't good, they got to do the most to catch up. Y'all boys ain't on our level. We still run Texas. You know what time it is, Mr. Lee Side. It's me. I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm, I'm him, Duncan. Don't act like you know. Don't act like you don't know. You know what time it is, man. We don't care nothing about Stephon Diggs. When he come over here to see Trayvon Diggs, it's going down. That's what I'm telling you right now. Trap, 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 trap. We trap. want all the smoke, Mr. Lee Side, because I know you came in here to try to, you know, mess with us today because you're feeling good, your chest poking out, you're swole chested today. I want you to know that we're not afraid of you. We got some for Mr. Stephon it's so hard to not say Stephon Gilmore, ain't it, y'all? Cause we got Stephon Gilmore, then we got Trayvon Diggs. We got a we got a number of corners to cover this boy. We got Trayvon Diggs coming back from an ACL. You know, I still think he'll be good. We got to see how the uh, schedule lines up when they play each other. But I cannot wait to see brother on brother crime, and you know. One brother went to Bama, one brother went somewhere else. So that's all I'm going to say, brother. Trap, 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 trap. One brother is old, one brother is still in his prime. You know, that's one thing. But I would have really liked to have Stephon Diggs on his team, though. I'm not going to hate on him like that. But I'm telling you, hey, if I had to bet my money right now, hey, I'm going, I'm, I'm riding with Trayvon. Who riding with Trayvon in the trap, man? Who riding with Trayvon out here? Let me know. You better be riding with Trayvon. Because I can't wait, man. Listen, this is one of the things that's concerning. I'm not going to lie to y'all. You know we got to preach the truth in the trap. <laughs> Got the priest the truth. It ain't no way or other way I can do it, y'all. It ain't no other way I can do it. It's kind of disturbing to see all of our ops. Hey, yo, pass me a lighter. I'm trying to smoke me up. It's a little disturbing to see all of our ops trying to load up on us, right? And, um, you know, I got a graphic to talk about that, man. I got a graphic to talk about that. All of our teams that we playing after this free agency, it got a tad bit harder. I say that. It got a tad bit harder. It got a tad bit more difficult. You look at Pittsburgh. Uh, that boy, uh, what his name is? Mr. Sierra went over there, you know. Trap, 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 trap. And, you know, a lot of teams didn't improve, man. A lot of free agents went over there, you know, on paper. They improved on paper. We thought the same thing about the Broncos when they got Russ, right? So don't let this paper... Warfare go over your head, make you think that we just going to be terrible now. We can't do that. He said, man, Super Chats ain't working. This the second day somebody said that. Uh, it took Tommy Montoya the other day a little minute to do it when he did it again, El Professor. So I don't know, man. He said, check the cash out then. Hey, El Professor said, we going we gonna to contribute to the trout regardless. I appreciate it. I really do. I really do. Let me check my cash out, man. The man said, check your cash out. That's exactly what I'm going to do. So I appreciate you. Whatever you done for your boy, man, is very much so appreciated, you know. But uh, let's see. Pulling it up now. I don't see nothing so far. I don't see nothing so far. It must ain't came through yet. But uh, I'll check back shortly. But I appreciate y'all. He said, yep, chat's down again today. Chats down. Is that across everybody's or is it just me? <laughs> Let me know. Let me know. Hopefully it'll get right throughout the show because, uh, you know, that's unfortunate. Why they keep coming for me? Hey, look, I told y'all this is high risk entertainment that I do over here. They said, nope, just you, that I see. Wow, they just doing your boy dirty. Hey, YouTube, we got some, we got, we got, y'all got some splaining to do now. What's going on? Why y'all want to hate on landlord from Alabama? I'm just trying to help these people get through this, uh, <laughs> this psychological warfare that Jerry Jones and Dollar Bill, Dollar Bill! put on my um, fan base. That's all, man. We just trying to talk about it. But uh, hopefully, you know. Later on in the show, it'll come through or whatever, man. Hopefully they get right, because that's just, you know. You know, I told you the algorithm trying to take me off my rhythm now. I don't be just saying that because it sounds smooth. I say that because it's the truth, you know. Shout out to Mr. L. Professor with the $50 cash out, man. Salute to you. Trap, 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 trap,
trap. trap. Man, y'all just don't know how long. How much that goes towards keeping this show running, man. It is not easy being a content creator. It really ain't. You understand? Especially at times like this, off-season vibes. I really appreciate all the people that still here rocking with your boy in the off-season. It's a lot of people that's going to come around during the season. But, you know, y'all the real ones, the ones that stick around while, you know, when the going gets tough. You understand? So I do appreciate y'all. I really do. Love you to death. If you love the trap, I love you all the way. I know you 100 solid. I know you is solid and you stand on whatever. I'm solid and stand on whatever. I already know that. Uh, hey, Joe. Hey, landlord. It was Eastside Harold who messing with your cash out. I bet it was him, Mr. Uh, Joe. I bet you it was him. But man, you already know. Let's get into some of this content. Was that a bird or a plane? What was it? I'm not sure. Let's see. Oh. It's nefarious news, of course. That's what it is, man. Shout out to everybody out chill. Rockin'. You already know how we do it, man. Trap topics of the day. Okay. What we got to talk about on the agenda, man. Hey, Mr. Lee side, you know, you, 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 y'all did your thing, man. I can't hate. I told you, it's a love-hate relationship. With Eastside right now, man, I can't help but root for D'Amico Ryan's. The dude is from 10, 15 minutes down the road. I can't, I can't wish ill will on him until he played the Dallas Cowboys, of course, you know. But you know, D'Amico Ryan's is a hometown guy, man. That's somebody that I played against. You know, I was on the opposite side of some of those talkers in high school. Miko was a monster in high school. <laughs> yes, he was a monster. He made my quarterback tap out. My quarterback said he had enough. He's done. It's over. Take him out the game. <laughs> trap, 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 trap. Shout out to my QB, Travis, man. Shout out to Travis uh, Rayford, man. So, uh, yeah, he had to tap out. He had to get out the game. That boy was going crazy on us in high school, man. So we got number love from D'Amico Ryans, man. But, man, I do not like what I see from them. They doing big moves over there. They actually believe in their quarterback. They actually believe in their coach and their process and what they got going on. I can't help but hate on it. Because, look, if all the Cowboys had to do, we had this same opportunity. Listen, this is why we talk so much crazy stuff about the front office. When the Texans seen some – Good projections when they said, okay, it looks like when they looked at CJ Stroud and said, man, that young man looked like he can do some things. Let me invest in him. Let me help him out. Let me make it easier for him. Let me give him a toy. Let me give him a weapon. Did the Dallas Cowboys do that after the rookie year Dak Prescott had? Trap, 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 trap. Did the Dallas Cowboys do that? Because I don't think so. That's all they had to do. This is all what most of us been been crying about. We wanted you all to be proactive. Be able to gauge that you got something good. Go do something about it. Go do something about it. You had the cheapest quarterback in the business. Dak Prescott was getting paid, you know, like a Walmart worker. And he up here being an essential piece to your football team. And you just looked at him and said, nah, we just going to trap this thing on out. Trap, 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 trap. We just going to trap this thing on out. They didn't look at it as an opportunity to build a, a, a Super Bowl team. They looked at it like, hey, we getting some cheap labor. That's that dollar bill in them. Dollar bill! That's bad business right there. They looked at us like, hey, that's cheap labor. We got, we, we getting over on him. You see what I'm saying? Instead of saying, hey, we got a cheap franchise quarterback. Guess what we going to do? We finna invest in him. James, that is not true. Did they do that while he was on a rookie contract? We talking about after the first year. CJ Stroud, this is his second year. CJ balled out in his rookie year, and they said, "Hill CJ, we believe in you. Let's go do it." Did the Joneses treat Dak that way? Cause Dak had still one of the most impressive rookie seasons of all time. Dak was him in his rookie season. It's me. I'm him. I'm not them. I'm him, Jones. I'm I'm him, Duncan. 
Let's make no mistake about that. Dak Prescott was him in his rookie season. If any man had eyes, he would have been willing to invest in what Dak Prescott showed in his rookie season. Any man except for the Joneses. So let's not make no mistake about that, man. Let's not play about that. We see that all they had to do while they had cheap labor, all they had to do is load this team up, load this team up, and we could have balled out too. We could have probably prospered. We could have prospered. You never, you never know. Yeah, Big Dad 86, I mean, 04, appreciate you being a member too, sir. He says they got Amara in 2018 after the three and five start and the wide receiver by committed failure. They wouldn't even finna do it then, Big Dallas. Trap, 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 trap. They had to be blatantly wrong for them to even invest in them. They wouldn't even finna do it then. They showed you they was finna get this man nothing but CDL drivers, you know, shout out to my truck drivers, you know, we got love y'all. But they they wasn't football players, that's what I'm getting at. They gave them some normal human beings as wide receivers on that football team and said, Dak, take us to the promised land. How logical does that sound? Instead of saying, hey, my young Rick is showing promise, I'm finna invest in them and make it easier for them. This is common sense stuff to people who wanna win. Cause that's what the Texans just showed you. They said, I'm finna invest in my young player and hope to God that he can take me to the promised land. I'm finna give him everything in his power. I'm finna try my best to build his team around him while we getting cheap labor from our quarterback. That's all they did and we was reluctant to do that, unfortunately. But man, I hate that because it, it really bothers me when I get to think about this, the opportunities that we squandered. We just sat up there and seen Apple stock at six dollars <laughs> we just sit up there and watch apple stock at six dollars and then do nothing about it and we knew the tra we knew the projections we knew the trajectory of the stock we just sat back and watched it um somebody said somebody else said the super chat don't work if y'all don't mind could y'all please go out the show and come back in and see if that works because you know I don't know why they want to attack little old landlord from Alabama with my little five subs. I don't know what's going on. But, you know, hopefully they get their act together, man. This is a fan-funded show. It's needed. I don't know why you two want to hate on little old me. But, uh, you know, we're going to keep this thing going. But all my, my sentiments was about this situation is, okay, I know you got to pay Stefan Diggs. But you mean to tell me the Cowboys couldn't do that? Look at how willing the Bills was to move them. They taking 30 million in dead money. They don't care. But we scared to even pay a wide receiver 30 million. Trap, 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 trap. They scared to even, they scared to even pay a wide receiver 30 million. This team was willing to get rid of their they wide receiver and take 30 million worth of L's and still get the job done. Okay. Bobby Ellis says it's working with the $2 soup. I appreciate you, sir. I don't know what's going on. Maybe you got to come back out and come back in, man. But I really appreciate it. I hate they making y'all go to with the runaround with the donations, man. It's very unfortunate. It's hard enough to get donations as it is. And they want to make y'all take three, four extra steps. But, hey, man, if you still want to give and you still feel like it, man, I really appreciate it. It's really needed in the trap to keep the lights on. We really appreciate it. But appreciate you for uh let me see, Mr. Bobby Ellis. The super chat is working. We appreciate that. But uh all I'm saying is, man, we just gotta make sure we don't squander no more opportunities. And I feel like we did last year, and it looks like we're doing the same thing this year. This is why it bothers me so much, man. This is why it bothers me. I don't have no uh fake dreamland fairy tale stuff to tell y'all. I just don't. I can't sell you. Uh, beachfront property in Wisconsin. I can't do it. Shout out to uh, RJ Ochoa. He says, players on new teams for the Dallas Cowboys have to face in 2024. This is what I'm telling y'all. The teams that we played and we seen on that schedule have gotten better. And it looks like they got a little harder. Okay? Pause. No diddy. Stefan Diggs went to the Texans, we see. Derrick Henry to the Ravens. I'm not going to lie. I'm not that big on Derrick Henry no more. That's my Bama guy. I don't think 
he's just the same Derrick Henry no more. But with that team, oh my God. Trap, 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 trap. That read option is going to be a problem, y'all. And I'm not scared of nobody, man. I'm not. I'm just being real. I got to give you an honest football analysis. I would be doing y'all a disservice. That's why, like, you know, it's, it's one thing to be optimistic. I'm still optimistic about my team. I'm, I'm just hoping optimistically that we do some great things in the draft that'll fix everything. It sucks that that's my last result, but I'm still being optimistic about the draft. But I'll be doing you a disservice if I just come up here and say, hey, everything's fine. We're going to beat every team. We got these little players that's just going to – everything is going to work out great. Every risk that we take on the roster is going to work out, and we're going to prove that our method is way better than everybody else's. We're the smartest team in the room. Everybody else spent free agency money. We didn't, and it's going to work out to our greatest benefit. I can't tell y'all that, bro. I just can't. I'm sorry. If that makes you want to turn this off or don't want to sub or don't want to support, I'm sorry, man. I would rather be able to tell y'all honesty, honest to God, and then go to sleep at night. I'd rather be like that, man. I'm sorry. I'm just too real of a person. I'm just too authentic to go with that BS. I just can't do it. I'm sorry. I'm going to tell you what I really feel about this stuff, man. I really am. So, hey, I can't sell you no dreams. Not today. Okay, Derrick Henry on the Ravens, that is that is crazy. Okay, Kirk Cousins on the Falcons. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all. That made them better, bro. That made the Falcons a real team. Y'all can say whatever in the hell y'all want to say about Kirk Cousins. Oh, it's Kirk Cousins. Man, that man be balling out. <laughs> like, look, even though his team is stupid, you know, the Vikings don't never do nothing right. But let's not act like Kirk Cousins is not a good quarterback. He might not be the greatest quarterback. He might not be, you know, Patrick Mahomes or all these other people. But Kurt is a damn good quarterback. Kurt is going to make that a better team. You better believe the Falcons' offense is going to be humming. I don't know if they're going to be able to, you know, make a good offense for Kurt Cousins over there because it's still the Falcons. But I'm telling you right now, from the abilities that I know Kurt Cousins to have, and you put that with Kyle Pitts, you put that with – Drake London and all these other weapons they got over there. Uh, B. John Robinson, that running back. Them boys is going to be a real deal offense. I promise you that. I, I look at them boys, they going to be humming. Now, what the uh, rest of the team going to do, I can't vouch for that. But I'm telling you right now, Kirk going to do, he going to have that offense humming. Like, real talk. Atlanta going to be hot next year. Like, real talk. So, don't make no mistake about that. So, the Falcons are real full now. The Falcons is a real foe now. Uh, Saquon Barkley is going to help the Eagles. Saquon is an excellent back. He's an injury-prone back as well. But to be real, that might be second fiddle to the Ravens. Like, Jalen Hurts, he's not the greatest quarterback to me, but he's an excellent athlete. And you put that athleticism in a read option situation with Saquon Barkley, you cannot tell me that is not scary. Like, I'm not, I don't fear Jalen Hurts as a quarterback. Not at all. Everybody knows my stance on Jalen. But as an athlete, he's a damn good athlete, y'all. He really is. And you put them two athletes back there on a the read option, it's hard enough to stop read option. They got a great running back to go with it. That's that's dangerous right there, man. That's really dangerous. Everybody, these people, exactly, El Professor. Everybody getting better except for us. And I can't sell you on us being better. Like, that's that's crazy to me. I I got respect for a lot of my Cowboys peers. If you were able to spin that, man, you a bad mama jam. I'm going to tell you. Trap, 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 That's something I would not try to do, bro. I promise you, man. I would rather y'all be mad at me and I tell you the truth than me to sell you a dream that's not real. Like, I just can't do that, bro. I, I got integrity in my work. And I'm going to be honest, I'm going to tell you the truth. Ain't no way that's happening. Okay. Um, Brian Burns going to the Giants. That made them better. Lots of Cowboys went to the Commanders. They got better. The Commanders will be a better team. If they draft the right quarterback, we might be, you know, have some real competition over there, y'all. Now, like I said, 
that's on paper. And it's the same ideology that I'm attacking with some of the super, super optimistic people on our team. So hold your horses. That's thinking that all the moves they made, all the people they bringing in, all the coaches they bringing in, all the free agents that they didn't assemble from us and from everywhere else and from all these draft picks, that's assuming that all that stuff is 100% good and it all works year one. That, sh that probably won't happen. But I will say I believe Washington will be better. I believe they will be better. They've done a lot of stuff to get better and get good. Washington will be better, in my opinion. Now, they was pretty low. <laughs> so how much better, I can't say. But I believe they will be a better football team. They've made a lot of the moves to be a better football team. And I think some of them, some of them will work, some of them won't work. And then, you know, you, they'll file somewhere, you know, in the middle, maybe a little higher. But I still think it equates to being better. You know what I'm saying? It still equates to being better. <laughs> See, I can't do that. I can't do that. I can't be a company man, Danny Savage. I just got to be real. I got to be landlord. I can't be nobody else. You know what I'm saying? And me, landlord, I'm not a company guy. I'm just me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've never been a yes man in my life. But look at how significant they, they eyes went up. They eyes went up when they did this move. That sounds like a swinging of the tide. That sounds like something that could actually change and help their football team. So, you know, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. We don't make moves like this, and I'm 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 really jealous about it, but it is what it is. <laughs> hey, y'all better hope CJ Stroud is really like that. Double law in the building, man. I don't think I seen double law in a real long time, man. Shout out to you, son. Trap, 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 trap. I hope everything going well with your double eyes. It's, it's been a, it's been quite a minute since I seen your name on here, man. I hope everything is well with you. But some decent news, I guess. You know, the Cowboys plan to re-sign Chuma Edoga per sources, likely to have a one-year deal. Swing tackle with six starts last year can fit into Cowboys' plan at guard or tackle, providing flexibility for the future. Okay. This is one of my things about, okay, I wonder what does this mean? I don't think they uh, looking at him as a starter, though. They just looking at him as a depth piece, a swing tackle. But, okay, let's say, for instance, that you want to put him on the line. Where would he be? He can't be a center. You know, he don't play center. He won't play guard. I think his best position is guard. I already told you I'm not moving Tyler Smith no more. Not doing it. I'm team not move Tyler Smith no more. <laughs> I'm team not smooth, <laughs> not move Tyler Smith no more. I'm not, I'm out for that. I'm riding with Duke on that. Duke Mayweather, you know, many many weather. I mean, not Mayweather. They're not not Floyd them, but Duke many weather says that he thinks it's a terrible idea to do it, and he's the one who trained these guys. We trust them. I think we should trust his opinion on that, like being real. I'm not an offensive line guy to that degree, but I, I think I'm going to side with him. I think he knows what he's talking about. And he was right before. He said, don't move Tyler Smith. No, he said, don't move Terrence Steele, and it didn't work out in our favor. So, hey, I think we should listen to him this time. Uh, Yeah. Yep, didn't, don't move him. Yeah, leave him where he at, man. I think that's fair. The man is an all pro. Guard, leave him at guard. Leave the man be. I think that's smart. That's smart business. But if you was going to put Edoga anywhere, it'll be guard. I don't see him as a tackle. I think he played a few snaps at tackle this year. But, you know, that's not where he shined at. He was pretty bad when he played tackle. If my memory serves me correct, I'm going to have to go back and, and evaluate him as a tackle. I know he played good ball as a guard, but I, from what I remember, I wasn't fond of how he played tackle. I think I remember him getting beat several times, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, I'm going to have to uh, leave him beat. But, uh, yeah, we signed a, a depth tackle piece, a depth guard piece, all of the above, I guess. But shout out to Sam Williams, man. I ain't gonna lie, this made me happy, y'all. 
Slam Sam Williams up there working out with Mr. Michael Parsons. I think that's where he should be, man. We need to see some improvements out of Sam Williams. Micah need to get him on his type of program. This is good for Mr. Slam Williams. I need to see more of this. I want to see a dedicated young man. I want to see somebody looking like he's ready to take that next step. Like, I don't really see much from Sam. So that's why when I see stuff like this, this is encouraging. We know Micah going crazy in the offseason. You can't question Micah in the offseason. Trap, 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 trap. Micah definitely need to take Sam under his wing. Uh, wing. This is the year that he need to be really helping out Sam. Like, listen, this is for the betterment of the team. We really need another quick, agile beast rushing off that edge opposite of Michael Parsons. D-Law is D-Law. He going to always do D-Law things. He going to come through in the clutch. He going to ball out in the run game. He going to do all of that good stuff. He's still a technician. You know, the athleticism that D-Law used to have, he never was a super bursty athletic guy in my opinion. But now at his elder age, he's really not a bursty athletic beat you type of guy off the off the step he's a beat you off the knowledge off the technique off the being a technician he's smarter than you he's he's more savvy than you he's a veteran savvy type dude we need a bursty dude opposite of Michael Parsons and that's who I feel like Slam Williams could be we need him to step up big time toxic we need him to step up big time this year and if he do that could add a great element to this team who else? Who like when they seen Dante Fowler on this uh, roster? When he was when he was opposite of Micah, them was some fun times, y'all. Trap, 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 trap. Because to be fair, man, Micah, I mean, the, um, Dante's still athletic. Dante, even at his older age, man, I hate to lose Dante, honestly, but Dante still got that bursty athleticism, that, that quick step. He still got all of that at his older age. And when you seen him and Micah rush together, that was some fun times. Yes, he did need some more snaps, but now we got a younger file. I look at Sam like a player like that. You know, I feel like that's a good comp for him, really. He's a he's a bursty outside athletic dude. He can win off his athleticism. He's fast. And Sam just need to get more in his tool belt. He need to get more of, you know, rushing with a purpose. He need to know how to plan and set up rushes. Like, give him a little bull rush first. Then come back and hit him with a speed. Hit him with a jab step. Hit him with a swim move, a, a rip. You know what I'm saying? He need to know how to set him up for the big win. Most of being a defensive end is losses. Like, you're not going to sack the quarterback as much as you want to. But what you can do is set up for the big win. Set up for the big moments. That's what I want Micah to do too, honestly. But set up for the big moments to, well, okay, the game on the line. I've been setting up this one move all game, and now I'm finna pull it out, and I know it's going to work. He been leaning left because he know I've been coming hard left. He been leaning left. I can tell from his stance. It's just certain nuances of the position that you can tell. So look, he leaning heavy on his on his on his right foot. So I know what he gonna do. You need to be on that type of time so when the moment come, you can predict what he gonna do and you take over. See, that's the type of new ones that I'm waiting on Sam Williams to be able to take on, man. Once he do that, it's a wrap. Once Sam be savvy with, with, with his rushes and, and rush with a plan, it's over. Because he got the athleticism. He got the aggressiveness. S Slam is aggressive now. If he ain't nothing else, he's aggressive. And what, what we say as coaches, we rather you be aggressive than not. I'd rather try to tame your aggressiveness compared to try to put some in you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because, like, you either got it or you don't. Like, coaches know what I mean. Certain players, I don't care if you're big, small, skinny, or fat. It's just certain players who don't have athletic, I mean, have aggressiveness in their blood. They just don't got it. I've, have you ever seen a big kid just get did dirty by a little dude? It's just certain people that don't got it in them. I would rather see somebody with reckless abandonment in them, and I got to contain it, 
opposed to not having it at all. Like, I'm telling you, most coaches will agree with that too. So we see that Sam got those traits, and we definitely need to make him be what? Control chaos. We want him to be control chaos. Last year, at times, he was just chaos. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We want that control chaos. We want it focused. We want him to be able to focus his aggression and go crazy from that in that regard. And I feel like Sam can do that. That comes with maturity. You know what I'm saying? Some of that stuff was just immature stuff, right? Like, I think that's the perfect way to describe our boy Slam with. Trap, 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 trap. Let me know if y'all feel me. Am, am, I, am I looking at this right? Do you agree with my take? I think Slam was just immature. And not as a person, but as a player. I think he just need time to grow, need to really understand what his role is, really understand what his, what his physical traits and what his, uh, what his abilities is and, and own it. You know what I'm saying? It's almost like when you see a Draymond Green, Draymond know he don't, sometimes he lose, <laughs> but Draymond know he's not the quickest, the biggest guy. So he find a way to be special in what he do. You know what I'm saying? He's going to be the super effort guy. He's going to beat you up. He's going to be physical. He's going to be rebounding. He's going to try to find a way to be great in his own right. Sam need to be able to find a way to be great in his own right. That's what I feel like. And his trajectory is so great that he could be a lot of stuff. That's probably what, what held him back because he's he, he got a high ceiling. So maybe he don't know the direction. Shout out to Rico Jones because Zim is the right kind of old school guy to point him in the right direction. We just looking for him to be able to hone all of this aggression, all of this athleticism, all of this chaos and control it and focus it. That's all we need to do. That's all we need to do. And I really think he'll be a monster. Zim could make him a monster. Because listen, what do Zim, what do Zim represent? When you think of Zimmer, what do you think of? To me, I think of discipline. So, all we asking is for sound to be disciplined. And that's, that's a good combination. I think that'll work like clockwork. I think that's good business on everybody in. Be disciplined. Excuse me, because I feel like he was a little immature in his gameplay. Not as a person, in his gameplay. It was a lot of immature moments. He making big time plays, but... He, he be a little too aggressive, slam the dude on his head or, you know, hit him up top and hit him in the head when he get in on, on the um, rush. It was just certain things that, you know, a mature player, a more controlled player wouldn't have done. So I'm pretty high on slam. A lot of people trying to dog slam and act like he ain't going to do good. I stand by him. If I keep seeing stuff like this, I'm going to fight for him. If I keep seeing slam in the, in the weight room, doing workouts, going crazy, I stand by him. I'm going to stand by him, and I really feel like he's going to be a monster. I just I just need him to stay in the gym. That's all I need. I need him to stay in the gym, stay behind Michael, and I promise you, I believe you're going to get the best out of him. But look, <laughs> I put this in there because they said when Jerry Jones said he was all in, this is what he was doing. He was pump faking the whole nation, y'all. Trap, 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 trap. He was pump faking us, man. Hey, I just thought that was funny, man. I posted to put it in the other part, but it is what it is. But he was pump faking us. But listen, let's get back into it, man. I see this, this really hurt my heart for us to not even do our due diligence. They tell us player acquisition is 365 days. Player acquisition, player acquisition, you know what I'm saying? They say that same old song, they sing that same old song every day. And why didn't you, you know, at least hit them up just to see what the price was going to be? Ravens Derrick Henry says signing with the Cowboys would have been perfect, bro. That's crazy. <laughs> You couldn't even you couldn't even hit him up and just see what the price was. The man said it would have been perfect. So I guarantee you, if he's saying that, 
if Derrick Henry saying that, he would have went lower for Dallas. He would have he would have took his price down a few million for Dallas. And you mean to tell me you ain't even do your due diligence? Mr. Dollar Bill. Dollar Bill! All I ask for you to do your due diligence, go out there and see what the market look like. You ain't even call them. And you in the running back market. Strange. Strange stuff right there. Is that not strange? Like, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. I be thinking I be the only one feeling the way I feel. That's why I'm glad I got a show so I can tell y'all about it. You know what I'm saying? Trap, 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 trap. I'm glad I got a show so I can tell y'all about it. Cause I just be thinking I'm crazy by myself. But um, let's see. The richest people in the world of sports. And you see Mr. Gerald Wayne Jones right here at number two. Good grief. 13.8 billion. And you can't even get us a free agent. Trap, 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 trap. I said something on Twitter about us acquiring Stefan Diggs, and everybody was like, well, how you gonna pay him? How you gonna do this? And, uh, we don't have a customer. I'm like, listen, <laughs> let them handle all that, bro. All I see is everybody else is doing what they wanna do, except for us. When there's a will, there's a way. That is true. Cap space, the pie is a lie. The pie is a lie. If they wanted to do it, they could have done it. I promise you. I could do it. <laughs> I could pull up our schedule. I could pull up our uh, finances right now, make cap space, and make a make a salary for Stefan Diggs. It could have been done, but we didn't want to do it. We're not all in enough. That's all that means. I'm not going to sugarcoat it for y'all. The cap space, the cap space. Man, get out of here. How much cap do you think the Eagles got over there then? Trap, 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 trap. How much cap y'all think these other teams got? They got way more cap than us then, right? <laughs> cap space. They don't got more cap than us. The Cowboys, hey, Steven Jones is in that office just straight cap, man. I don't know what they want us to do, bro. I don't know what they want us to do. Like I said, man, I got to give it to you real, bro. There's no other way I could do this. I can't come up here and fake the y'all. But, hey, Dallas Mayor Eric Johnson, in response to Kansas City Chiefs Stadium vote spelling, says North Texas can support a second NFL team, especially a franchise and an owner with deep roots here. They campaigning for another team in North Texas, y'all? What's going on? This South got something to say. That's all I got to say. I don't think Jerry, over Jerry dead body boy. Trap, 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 trap. Jerry will not let that happen. I'm going to tell you right now. But listen, if y'all sitting up here, listen, Cowboys, every, every great dynasty had they fall, though. I want y'all to know that because I think they feel like we so superior that we're going to just reign forever no matter how much they treat us, no matter how they treat us, no matter how they do us. Some of these, this year, it feel like a lot of fans was like, man, screw this. I'm done with this team. So listen, Jerry, y'all got a, a money-making machine. Y'all got it on autopilot. Y'all can do no wrong far as the money go. But I promise you, some of these fans is getting fed up, man. And if they talking about making another team, you might lose some of them. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. So, I don't know what we can do to make these boys get their act together. We need to come up with a plan, though. Because the Joneses feel like they just, they can do whatever they want to do. That nepotism is protecting every job in that building, man. It just is. I don't know what y'all want me to say. But it's protecting every job. Steven Jones did a terrible job at GM in this year. In free agency. What would you grade him? We got to talk about this roster, what they done. What would you grade him? If he was a normal human being, if Steven Jones was me and I was the GM of the Cowboys and I did the same stuff, I would be out on the street. I would be out on the street right now. They would have been like, you just sleep, at, you sleep on the wheel, mister? <laughs> like, what's going on? Show us a sign of life, sir. 
are you alive? Like, have you been doing your job? Like, they would ask me questions like that. Like, are you doing your job, sir? <laughs> like, they would have to literally ask me that. Okay. Far as our free agency go, this is it. We've signed Eric Kendricks. I do like the move. We signed Jordan Lewis. I'm not mad at it. Rico Dow. Chuma Idoga. And then two people who you ain't even gonna see. Trap, 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 trap. Man. We sign more special team people than, than, than defensive people. Wow. That's a crazy realization, ain't it, y'all? <laughs> Shit. We loaded up on free on, on, on special teams, boy. I want y'all to know that. We loaded up on special teams. We got a prime long snapper. I'm telling you right now. That's the first, that's the first domino to fall. First priority of business. We gotta sign our long snapper. I don't care what they doing. Let's get that long snapper deal done. Lost Tyron Smith. Lost Tony Pollard. Lost Jonathan Hankins, Dorrance Armstrong, Tyler Biotis, Dante Fowler, Noah Igbenagami, Jonathan Hankins, Neville Gallimore, Michael Gallup. Leighton Van Der Esch. Now, okay, if you look at that from a whole, like, if you pan out and look at that as a whole, it looks horrible. And I'm not saying that it ain't. But I will say it's not as bad as it looked, though. Because some of these dudes weren't real contributors. Some of them was on their last leg. Some of them, you know. But it was two starters in them. Is, is Doris Armstrong considered a starter? Is Michael Gallup considered a starter? Leighton Van Der Esch might be considered a starter, though. I, I don't know. I might take that back. I was finna say Tyron Smith and Tony Pollard pretty much, and Jonathan Hankins, too, though. That's three starters. You can make an argument, well, four. Tyler Biotis, good grief. It is pretty bad. <laughs> it is really It is pretty bad. <sighs> good, good, good grief. Okay, look, Tyler Smith, do you got a replacement for him? Nah. Tony Pollard, I feel like we can replace Tony, to be honest. I do. Jonathan Hankins, do you got a replacement for him? No. Dorrance Armstrong, do you got a replacement for him? I believe so. Tyler Biotis, do you got a replacement for him? Absolutely not. Dante Fowler, do you got a replacement for him? I believe so. Noel Igbenagamin did not contribute. Um, Jonathan Hankins. They got him on there twice. What the hell are they doing out here, man? <laughs> Neville Gallimore. Can you replace him? Yeah, because he didn't contribute, really. Michael Gallup. Absolutely. Leighton Van Der Esch. I believe we did with Kendricks. So, okay. Out of all the people we just said, who, didn't, who we didn't replace? We didn't replace our left tackle. We didn't replace... I ain't mad at running back. We didn't replace Jonathan Hankins. I ain't mad at Dorns. Center. That's 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 gonna hurt. Okay. So out of all them positions, I think three, three holes was left. Three voids was really, really left. Three. I think three, three voids was very, very much so left on this team. Even at the free agency, even in the draft, I'm not confident in replacing my defensive tackle in the draft. I'm just not. I said this last year. I said it last year. I'm not comfortable in that. I'm not confident in that either. Okay. Replacing my center, it went like Tyler Biotis was like that, but we might be able to get better. But, hey, who knows? It just depends on where they draft the center, I would say. Shout out to El Fels in the building with the one, two, 199 for your mind, man. He's, he's a real G. He says, stressing over Rico Dowell? <laughs> nah, I ain't stressing about him. I said, I, I feel like we could replace him, El Fels. I ain't really tripping off no running back that much. You know what I'm saying? I feel like we can replace him in the draft. That'll be the easiest position to probably replace in the draft would be running back. But. Like I said, I think it's three positions that we didn't replace and we don't have an answer for. Defensive tackle, 
left tackle, and center. And I go back to saying this, and it sounds worse when I put it in a percentage. 40% of your O-line is in shambles right now, y'all. But, you know, I feel like we can get some good players in the draft. Are they going to be formidable solutions? Are they going to be good NFL players? Can't promise you that. I hope so. I hope we make the right picks. But like I said, all hope is not lost. We can still, we can, we can knock the draft out the park. We can knock the draft out the park. It's a possibility. But I just don't live off, you know, if, ands, and maybes. I can't live off of that. Can you pay your rent with a maybe? <laughs> can you pay your power bill with maybe? Maybe I will be able to pay my bill next week. Maybe. You can't live off of maybes. You just can't. I need tangible evidence that my team will be better. And I, I can't say that I got that. So that's why that's why I've been mad and, and, and hollering and fussing. Y'all seen me when I believed in this team. Last year, I believed in this team. I went doing all this. So this is not, this ain't even my type of content. My type of content is just truth. So last year, my truth was I was very confident in that team. I was ready to go to war with anybody. And I stand solid on that. I'm solid and stand on whatever. This year, I'm not very confident. I feel pretty bad about where we at right now. Hopefully, it can improve in the draft. So, that stance that I had from last year, I had to let it go. I mean, can you be mad at a man for being truthful and being honest? That's all I'm going to say. I'm just, I'm just giving you my truth. And I just don't feel too great about it right now, y'all. Hopefully, somebody can talk me off the ledge. Hopefully, this team could knock it out the park in the draft and do everything we want, get great players and all as well. But, hey. That's a long shot, if I do say so myself. It is. That's a that's a long shot to fix every need that you got in the draft. Like, people don't even do stuff like that no more. But uh, shout out to Tom Downing. He says the Cowboys continue to push dead money as their reason for the salary cap concerns. Oh, my God. <sighs> Even though they've got a massive amount of cap space in 2025, a good amount of players under contract and among the few biggest, I mean, big money deals on the books. Yeah, they want to have to pay some big deals, CD Lamb, Parsons, etc. They're actually in very good shape to do that. Okay. They talking about dead money, but we just seen... Buffalo just took 30 million in there. Trap, 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 trap. It's, it's either that landlord is just sad and, and mad or dead money is not created equal or the salary cap is not created equal across teams. It's just not created equal. It's not created equal. And then how could you be all in? How could you be focusing on this year talking about the future? Do the Cowboys not understand that you got to sacrifice at least a little of your future for you to take a big swing on now? Do they even get that? Like, it's, it's sad that I got to ask a question like that. But I honestly got to ask it. I got to ask that. Do we really? We not understanding this? You got to risk a little of your future to make big swings and big moves in the, in the present. You have to. We don't want to risk nothing in the future. So what does that indicate to you? If we don't want to risk nothing in the future, we must not be all in. We must not be betting on the team in the present. We couldn't be. We saving for something. You see what I'm saying? It seemed like we saving for something. Maybe it's the rebuild. Who knows? Who knows? That's why I tell you, I don't have an alliance to players. I have an alliance to this team, to this franchise, to the Cowboys, to my fan base. 
to my subs, my members. I got allegiance to y'all, but not to the players because if it's up to them, they can Thanos snap this whole roster. Boom, everybody gone. You know what I'm saying? You can't have too much allegiance, too much alliance to these players because they coming and going. Dak may be out of here next year. Who knows? With a with a crazy uh front office like them boys up there, who knows? Stranger things than happen. So we just gotta, you know, we gotta keep it solid for where we at. We gotta make sure we hold them accountable. Cause if they are finna do something like that, if they are finna do something like that, you better be doing it right. You better have a plan. You see what I'm saying? You better have a plan. That's all we saying. You better know what you're doing, and it better work. It better work. And let, let these people go then. You know what I'm saying? Let my people go. If you ain't finna really give us a real shot to win, man, if you're not really in, you might as well let these people go. For real. You might as well get as many picks as you can and rock it out. Because it, it makes no sense if you're not going to give them an actual chance to win. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. It, it really makes no sense. Mr. Marcus McFarlane, the member sliding in for the win. Shout out to you. He says, I just don't understand the Joneses are all about the money. Why wouldn't they spit, spend a lot, get Super Bowl? Hold up. Spend a lot, get a Super Bowl where they would make hella money from just don't, from that. Just don't understand. Yeah. I mean, it ain't about the money, man. They got money. They making bank while we losing. So money, money shouldn't be the uh, motivation for them to win. That's that's what made me sad that day. Like who who remember that live? I came to the realization they might just be complacent. They already got Super Bowls. You see what I'm saying? Shout out to Miss Sally. I always think about it when I when I see her name. One of my first Facebook supporters, man. Shout out to Miss Sally. But uh, yeah, man. I just don't know, y'all. They may be complacent. They might don't care. But listen, we can't let them get away with it. That's why we up here talking crazy. This is why I'm putting so much pressure on these boys. Trap, 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 trap. What if there was no landlord from Alabama and you just had people up here telling you, telling the Joneses, good job. Good job. I don't need no free agents. Ugh. We don't like free agents over here. Keep doing, keep up the good work, Steven. What if y'all had somebody up here pushing this crap? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just can't do it, bro. I'm sorry. I would never do that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like, I, I would rather not even do this if I had to come up here and say stuff like that that I don't believe in and that I don't feel like gonna, gonna work. I'm sorry. No, I refuse. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, oh, yeah, man, I forgot to tell y'all, man, prayers up to my guy, HTM Sports. He been sick for the last few days, man. He got a bad case of strep throat. We need prayer and emojis in the chat for Mr. HTM Sports, man. We need him to get back healthy. I told him on Twitter, man, the streets need you. So, hey, man, we need to drop some prayer hands in the chat for Mr. HTM Sports. He's been sick for about a week now. And, uh, you know, he need to get back right. We need him to get back stronger than ever and get back refocused so we can do our thing, man. You understand? The streets need him. And, hey, man, let them know that you're supporting them and, you uh you know, you got them in your prayers, man. So make sure, hey, drop them, drop, drop the play, praying emojis in the chat for you, boy, so we can show support to my guy, HTM Sports. You know, lift his spirits a little bit, man, because he's been sick for a while now. You understand? And we, we thinking about him. We hope he do well. We hope he get well soon. So, hey, man, I appreciate all the love and support. Oh, yeah, and... We got some underworking things going on in the background. We trying to get some people in here to interview. Don't want to say anything yet because it's not official yet. But best believe, y'all know how we did last last off season. We we was out here cooking last off season. Trap, 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 trap.
trap. Y'all know when it come to them interviews and stuff, don't nobody do it like uncut now. Don't nobody do it like Cowboys uncut now. So hey, make sure y'all stay tuned in. We got some stuff coming for y'all. We we working in the background, man. That's why I say y'all support goes a long way. Y'all likes go a long way. Your shares go a long way. When we present, when we walk up to these players and say, hey, when we walk up to these players, we like, look, we want you on our show. If they go to my last live and see two likes, they're going to be like, I'm good, sir. Trap, <laughs> trap, 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 trap. I got to be able to show them like, hey, people watch me. People support us. You go over here, you're going to be in front of the nation, the real nation. So, hey, man, make sure y'all hit them likes, man, because that's the first thing people going to do. If you get invited to a podcast or something, what you going to do? You going to go look and see how many likes they get, how many views they get, how many subs they got. Are you not? So that's why we need y'all support. That's why this stuff is so important. Once Landlord get big and get the channel up there, I'll be able to walk out there with, you know, with my chest poking out like, hey, yeah. I got this many subs, so hey, come through. You know, I'll be able to pull a little more weight in that regard. So hey, man, make sure y'all continue to stay supporting, man. Keep pushing that like button. Keep pushing them shares, man. And keep supporting this stuff, man. You already know how we do it, man. But I appreciate you. Shout out to Mr. L. Professor. Still supporting, man. That's, that's what's up. You the real MVP today. He says, prayers. For Mr. HTM Sports, Mr. Henny the Moore, shout out to my guy, man. And um, shout out to Mr. Flip from Texas with the 499 for your mind. I appreciate you, sir. He says, we have players on the team right now to replace everyone we lost. Oh, that's that's interesting. That's interesting, Mr. Flip. That's interesting. Put those people in the chat for me real quick. Because, look. You might have somebody to replace them, but, like, this this the way I'm attacking it this year, Flip. I'm not going to say you wrong. I'm going to say I disagree. And the reason I disagree is because the players that we might have to be able to stand in those positions, I haven't seen them do it over a long period of time. Do I feel good about some of those players? Of course. I probably feel just as optimistic about some of those players as you do. But... At the same time, I can't bet my house on it. So I'm not taking it as something tangible. I'm taking it as hope because that's what it is. We could project them to be good, but a projection is not something that's real, like, in reality. It's something that's in the future. You see what I'm saying? It hasn't happened yet. So until I see it over a long period of time, that's when I can say, hey, we got people to replace them. I can't say that right now. So if you if you if you telling me you got players that fit that criteria that I just described, then hey, I'm with you. So let me know what you got. Let me know what you got. Just list a few of them players real quick before we ride this thing on now. Somebody somebody hit the oh some I thought I thought some I thought I made somebody mad. <laughs> But I appreciate y'all support, man. I really do, man. This stuff goes a long way. Y'all sit up here and hear me crying and whining and ranting and raving about these cowboys, man. And y'all sit up and watch me. It's crazy. I appreciate y'all. Y'all just don't know. <sighs> Sometimes you just got to get this stuff off your chest. Could y'all imagine me just dealing with all this by myself? <laughs> Shit, that's too much. Trap, 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 trap. I was destined to be a content creator. I can't keep all of this in. No. Somebody else got to hear about this. <laughs> Sugar Daddy Williams in the building said, we just showed them on the screen free agents. Yeah. Um. Well, flip it. Flip, you dipped on me. Flipped and dipped. Dang. I was trying to hold on for you, Flip. I wanted to hear what your answer was, but... uh. We'll stick around for a couple of more minutes, man. Let me see if he uh put put his people down. Because I really want to know exactly who he mean. Not to attack him. I just want to know where his mind is. Like, who you banking on? And can I feel the same way? That's my question. 
That's what I want to know. That's what I want to know. <laughs> Joe Trantina said, hey, landlord, if you can get Deuce Vine for an interview, you need to get him a booster seat so he can reach the mic. Man. <laughs> Bro, y'all know I can't get dudes by him. Trap, 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 trap. Well, y'all know I can't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That boy will take one glance at my channel. He is out of there. That boy is out of there. He he really, he might want to drop a bomb. <laughs> he ain't going to want to be over here at all. He going to be like, you you the one that called me Little Legs? Absolutely not. <laughs> like, damn. My bad, bro. I'm going to have to sneak in that interview, <laughs> Joe. I, <laughs> JB, I, JV, I had to sneak in that interview. I had to sneak through the back door. I had somebody else book the interview, and then I just whoop, jump on. The <laughs> I just jump on the link. Here I am, nigga. <laughs> like, I'm going to have to sneak on the um, live. That's the only way I get deuce. That man said, you talking about people throwing me for a touchdown? Nah, bro, nah. Man, it look like our guy flipped didn't want to play ball. I don't know, man. Maybe he had to run out real quick. I don't know. But I did want to um get into that conversation, though. But uh, maybe if you've seen this later and you can do it later, put it in this chat box for your boy. Put it in the comment section. Oh, there you go. He says, we are a draft and develop team. The players we lost, we developed just saying. I'm telling you, I'm not attacking you, so I'm finna go back and look. Let me see. Maybe he on or something. Let's see. Tyron, we draft and develop Tyron, Tony, true. Not Jonathan Hankins. We did Dorns, yeah. Tyler, yep. Not Dante. Um, we did Neville, but it wasn't a, it wasn't a successful development. <laughs> Shit. Uh, Michael Gallup was, yeah, he was a draft and develop. Layton was too. So, yeah, I mean, but that don't mean we going to be able to draft them and replace them. You see what I'm saying, Flip? Because that's almost saying, like, you know, we didn't have no bad draft picks to the point where we didn't have, you know what I'm saying? We still had bad draft picks while we was trying to replace some of these guys. We've been drafting bad at defensive tackle the whole time. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? So that right there alone will be a good amount of pushback for that for that mentality flip. Cause think about it. We can draft and develop. That's who we are. You're right. But it's not a way to live though. You shouldn't live off that alone. You should build your team off draft and free agents not just draft alone that's not a sustainable way to build your team because look how long we've been trying to draft a defensive tackle it hasn't worked it hasn't worked so that right there alone we can't just draft and develop that we can't and then we lost pretty much the best defensive tackle we had in the building so not only can we not draft and develop that position, we lost the uh the defensive tackle that was doing good. <laughs> Shit. We lost one that was halfway decent. So you see what I'm saying? Like, I get what you're saying. We do draft and develop well. But you can't do you won't you won't go 100 percent The Cowboys looking like they going, they trying to go 100 percent on this draft and develop. Is it possible? Yes. Is it likely? I'm afraid not. But man, like I said, man, I really appreciate all the love and support, man. Let your boy know how you feeling about the show, man. I'm going to try to make sure I give me some upgrades coming up soon. I'm going to try to add some more segments. I'm, I'm brainstorming on a lot of things that I could do for the trap to make y'all feel better and make y'all enjoy this a little bit more. So, hey, man, let me know how I'm doing. Let your boy know. Give me a letter grade or something in the building. You understand? Let me see if I, I, I hit the A on the road. Can I show my mother my report card? Trap, 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 trap. Or do I have to forge her signal, signature like I used to? 
Don't tell nobody that. Don't tell nobody that. I'm sure I ain't the only one that used to have to. Am I the only one used to have to? I ain't gonna say no words. I'm not gonna incriminate myself. But am I the only one that used to have to? <laughs> that progress report and that that man look. <laughs> I would have been so terrible of a kid back in the day. These days, I would have been a terrible kid. <laughs> Cause look, when my report card didn't look good, I used to be like, Mama, my teacher said she ain't got no paper in the printer. It's trap. And look, she'll ask like twice a week. She'll be like, hey, you got your report card? Nope, <laughs> I ain't got it. My teacher ain't had no paper. <laughs> look, I, see, look, I'm going to say this before I go, because y'all know I enjoy doing this. I just have fun doing this. Look, my mama was a teacher too, so believe it or not, my mom was a teacher too, but she didn't teach my grade. You know what I'm saying? She didn't teach my at my school. She taught younger kids. I was in high school around the time I was that nefarious. But it always be, and you know, we get report cards at different times and stuff too. But it always be my cousin them, man. Shout out to my folks. It always be my cousin them. They have good grades. So they run into the, they running home to show their grades. <laughs> My mom be on the phone with my auntie like, uh, yeah, uh, such and such just got her report card. And she look at me, where yours at? Oh, yeah, my teacher ain't had no paper. Trap, <laughs> trap, 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 trap. She ain't had no paper, mama, you know what I'm saying? Uh, she pulled to get some next week, though. She got you. Then every time she asks, you know, you make up some kind of excuse. But, uh, <laughs> Y'all know how it go, man. But I appreciate all the love and support. Y'all make sure y'all hit that like and share for the squad. It will not charge a card. I appreciate everything y'all do for your boy. But you already know why them haters hate on us. Why? Because we are the greatest. That's why. Shout out to everybody rocking. Yeah. Thanks for all the love and support. Put my make sure y'all run these money. likes up. Run these shares up. Let's get it. Yeah. And this is greatness defined Every line is divine Verses bogging your mind And every song, man, I swear it Just get better with time No matter how much shade they throw I still manage to shine I don't know why they so obsessed with mine I'm all they think about Go in they house They probably got my picks in a shrine Damn, I never let them play me They see us ballin' Now they wanna switch teams like KD I know my time coming I guess I'm a way to see I'm too cocky and confident That humble ain't for me, Lord Help me with my egotistical ways But I'm amazed how they did this place is miserable hey, I never paid attention to what most of the say They words are unemployed like prepositional phrase They wanna see me crash and burn in a ridiculous blaze But yet I rise like the phoenix Show these people I'm great enough Yeah, I know these haters can't stand me We'll take a seat, I do it for the family So, it grab the block to the Grammys And if you try to stop me, you'll need a plan B Yeah, I just do it for the real If you ain't from the bottom, you ain't get how it feel The go against the Great young boy, got flow flowing, it's mind blowing. I'm flamboyant when brainstorming, it's fair warning. For my opponents, that will be morning before the morning. Every beat I eat and destroy it, that's what the fans wanted. The hot topic, you try to copy, that's hard stopping. Yeah, I'm a giant when rhyming, but y'all microscopic. I got them watching and they believe in me like a prophet. Cause the pics I'm cropping be masterpieces, they photoshopping. I'm from the bottom, assembled by the avenue. So I gotta pay homage to the hood to show my gratitude. And then my attitude is similar to an animal. These dudes ain't half as cool, I got different levels to tap into. I am the truth, these people know that I kill it. These are God level lyrics. I should be on Mount Olympus. My music therapeutic to the real people's spirit like it came from ancient Kemet. Ain't nobody messing with me. I'm the greatest. Trap, 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 trap. And like I say, 1K, one love, Cowboys Nation. Let's go.